Welcome, cinema lovers, and welcome to another episode of Two High Cinemas. I'm your host, Sharim. And here on Two High Cinemas, you know, I like to give my opinion on some of the most popular pieces of cinema in the world. In today's episode, we're going to be doing a run through and review of She Hulk, episode five, starring Tatiana Maslani, Jamila Jamel, Ginger Gazaga, and Josh Sagara. Now, let's get into it. Titania has trademarked the name She Hulk for a new line of beauty products which angers Walters. Holloway warns Walters that she needs to deal with the situation quickly and assigns Mallory Bull as her attorney for the case. Nikki and Pug come up with a plan to acquire a superhero outfit for Walters from Luke Jacobson, a highly exclusive tailor, while Bull and Walters decide to countersuit Titania in the hopes of regaining the She-Hulk trademark. On that note, don't forget to check out some of our merch options provided by KLB Supply at klbsupply.com. Follow KLB Supply and Two High Cinemas on all social media platforms. Like and subscribe for any updates. And let's get back into it. Walter is annoyed to discover that Todd, one of her unsuccessful dates, is also a client at her farm. But this helps her to realize that she can use her dating app history to establish a past record of her identifying as She-Hulk before Titania ever tried to gain the trademark. Thanks to her past day's testimonies, Walters wins the case and she establishes a tentative friendship with Bull. She later acquires her new customized outfits from Jacobson. So, not gonna lie, uh, this was a slower episode than the others. Uh, not saying, um, like it less than the others, but uh, there definitely was some differences from the tone of this episode against the others. Like uh, this episode, I believe, uh, was the funniest one, uh, to be honest with you. Um, I laughed throughout it. Uh, a few times I even had to pause and go back because I didn't hear the next dialogue. Uh, but there wasn't much action this episode. It focused more on, uh, it seems like, acceptance and defining oneself. Um, I could definitely appreciate that tone though. Um, and then <laughs> Nikki and Pug, the best. And Pug is my hero. He is a sneakerhead. and He has sneakers I wish existed in real life, uh, so I could have them too. <laughs> uh, but there were so many Easter eggs in the credits of the hero uh, themed sneakers too uh, that he has in his collections. Um, so definitely posted uh, something on Twitter uh, asking anyone else uh, if they could pinpoint any of those sneakers. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna take me some time because it was mad sneakers. But uh, this episode as well uh, expanded on the MCU, uh, introducing us to the designer for street level uh, LA heroes and maybe villains uh, as well uh, for their costumes. So that's pretty dope. Uh, they had the little Easter egg with uh, Daredevil's uh, helmet or his LA helmet, uh, which was pretty cool. Uh, I know they are really dragging out this whole Daredevil thing until like probably the last couple episodes, but I'm still liking it. I get they're trying to focus on Jen. I get it. This is her show. Uh, I'm loving the law sitcom side of it as well. Um, I thought it was really clever to use Jen's uh, dating profile to establish her claim uh, to the name she hoped. Uh, Todd is definitely someone to keep an eye on. Uh, I think he will have a bigger role in the later episodes. Uh, but this was a good episode. Uh, not the best, but um, definitely not the worst. <laughs> it's pretty good. So now the grading. Uh, when it comes to comedy, I'm definitely gonna give it dank. It was hilarious. Uh, drama, gonna be more on the mid side. Action, gonna give it more like a Reggie. And for horror, uh, definitely gonna give it a Reggie. And that was my run through and review of today's movie. Please hit the like, subscribe, and comment down below on what you would like me to review next. So now 